Hey, good evening. I'm Carrie. Welcome to my cozy kitchen. Um, if you're looking at me for the first time, welcome. If you've seen me before and you're back, welcome. Um, I appreciate you joining me tonight. What I'm going to do is Saturday night. We've been out all day, so I want to fix something really quick because we're hungry. Um, and what I'm going to make this evening is some salmon croquettes. And I know you've seen them. I know you've had them. But since I'm making them, I thought I would share it with you. Now, my salmon croquettes are very, very simple. I keep them simple. It's the way my mother made them for many, many years. In fact, probably all of my life. This is the way she made her salmon croquettes. So I want you to take a look at what I have here. Okay, I want you to be able to see this. This is my salmon. Now, what I wanted to show you, you might see two different colors in here. That is because we, we meaning me and my husband, have always used two types of salmon. I use the pink and I use red. We mix them. That's just the way we like them. We like to mix the two. Um, so that's what I have in here. So if it looks just a little weird to you, that's what is going on in this bowl. And I'll tell you some, something else. If you see a few bones in here, it's because I don't pick my bones out. Now, if I see some large bones, of course, I'll pull, pull them out. But I don't go through my salmon and pick any bones out. Everything in this salmon is edible. Like I said, my mother cooked these things all of her life and she didn't pick out bones. And it's five of us uh, siblings and we're doing just fine, okay? Because these bones are so soft that when you mix this up, the bones break up. They're soft. You can take your fingers and mash the bones. They're soft. So what we're going to do, we're going to get started making this up. I am using, like I said, we're going to keep this real simple. I am using some onions and bell pepper. I cut them up really small. And this is just a little piece of onion, I'd say about a fourth of a medium onion. And this is about a fourth of a bell pepper. Okay, and we're gonna put all that in here. Put all of that in there. Okay, and then I have some seasonings. First, we're gonna put some salt, and this is to your taste. Okay, I'm not gonna put much. Put a little salt. Going to put some black pepper. And I want you to see everything that's on this table here, if it's possible. No, it may not be. Okay, but what I did do, I have some seasonings in here. I have some Old Bay. I use a teaspoon of Old Bay, a teaspoon of Creole seasoning, and a half a teaspoon of Laurie's seasoning salt and I'm going to put all of that in here okay and then I have and as far as um the amount of salmon I use the whole can of pink salmon and about three-fourths of the red I'll take the the extra and make something for breakfast that I like to use with that so we're going to mix that up and now we're going to add our eggs. So remember, that's onion, that's bell pepper, that's my seasonings, and we're going to put an egg in. That's how simple this recipe is. Not going to make it difficult. These will be good. I do not put um, breadcrumbs in my salmon croquettes. I, I never have. Uh, the way my mother taught me to make them, she never did. Now I put one egg in there. And it looks like we could use two. And that was an extra large egg. So I'm going to put one more in here. I usually crack these eggs into a separate bowl. But that's okay tonight. We're trying to eat tonight. So we wanted something really, really quick. And the only other ingredient that I need to put in these salmon croquettes is a little bit of flour. Now, I believe my mother said that was to help with the binding, just like the eggs, okay? 
So I just put about a tablespoon of flour in these. And that's it. We're going to mix them up. And they're going to be good. And when I download this video or upload this video, I will put the recipe in there. Although it's a short one, I'll put it in there. And that's our salmon croquettes, y'all. I'm going to take, wash my hands real quick, and we're going to make up our patties. I'm just trying to be sure all of that egg is mixed up in here well. That's our salmon croquettes. Let me wash my hands real quick, and we're going to make them up. I have a plate over here ready. And I'm going to make these really small. I like to cook them small so that they don't take long because we want them to cook all the way through. I have a plate here. And let me show you how we're going to make our patties up. Real small. That is going to be a real small croquette, salmon croquette. Just that simple. We're going to fry them in just a little bit of grease. We're not deep frying them. We're frying them really slow in a little bit of oil. And I know you probably can't see that right now. And I'll fix that for you. Let's see. There we go. Making them small. And tonight we're going to have the salmon croquettes with rice and corn. That's the way I've eaten them since I was a child. Sometimes I will make them and we'll eat them with grits, but I like them with rice. It's just how I'm used to eating them and they're good with rice. Put a little hot sauce on them. Yes. So I'm going to continue to make these patties up and then when I'm ready to put them on the stove, I'll come back so we can fry them. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we're back, and we're going to start frying up these salmon croquettes, and I have a couple more over in the bowl. Um, it's waiting on my grease to get hot, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of flour, just a little bit on these, a little bit, to help them brown. Okay, and I better turn my fire down so I won't burn them up. We're going to cook these slow. I'm going to cook them at just a little bit lower right now, right up under medium. And like I said, I did make them small. That was intentional. They can cook a little bit faster. And they just seem to taste better when they're small. Cook better on the inside. I got my little trusty frying pan here. Probably should have used a bigger one, but it's okay. I'll just do two rounds of this if I need to. And I probably will. Look at that. We're going to cook these slow. And let them cook all the way through because remember we have eggs in this so we want them to cook all the way through got my rice done already so when these are done we are ready to eat and my family you know they're waiting <laughs> they are waiting I think I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna let these fry up I'm gonna wash my hands real quick let those fry up slow. Now, if you'd rather have grits, make your grits. A lot of people eat them with grits. And we have two. We just prefer rice. 
My husband is from the South. He was born and raised here in Jacksonville. I was born up North. I was born in Queens, New York. And I lived there until I was just about 14. So when he and I got married, we kind of had a little bit of differences with how we eat things. But he's come around to the rice as well. <laughs> he's come around to the rice. I'm going to turn these up a little bit. They don't seem to be cooking as fast as they need to. But now, and, and really that looks like it, it might be a little bit too much grease. I'm going to pull some of that grease off. I'm going to pull a tiny bit of it off. And let these cook slow. And what you can do is just grab a spoon, pull some of that grease out. If I need more later... And I'll add some back, but right now I don't need all of this. All right. Those are looking good already. And when they get brown on one side, I'm going to come back and we're going to flip them over right back. Okay, these have been cooking for just a couple of minutes. And it looks like we can go ahead and turn them over. And remember, I always use two forks. Helps hold our patties together. And it helps eliminate splashing grease. Because sometimes if we're just using a spatula or we're using one fork and we flip these over, it could have a tendency to splatter. And I don't want to splatter grease on myself. So use two forks. And look how beautiful these are. Look at that. They are gorgeous. So they will probably cook on the second side another couple of minutes and they'll be done. They will be done. So I'm going to let them cook just another couple of minutes and I'll come back and show you um, how they came out and then I'll put the last of mine. I, I added the, the couple I had extra there in the bowl. I put them on my plate. I'll come back and show you when they're done. Okay, my croquettes are still cooking. I ended up turning the fire back down. It's between low and medium because, of course, the, the oil got hot again. So I turned them down, and they are just about done. And I'm going to flip them just to be sure. And you may have to flip these twice. That's okay. That's okay. That one there is done. I'm going to go ahead on and pull them out. Because they've been cooking slow. And they cooked about, mm, about two and a half, three minutes on both sides. Just to be sure that heat gets in to these croquettes and cook the egg. And these croquettes are done. Look at that. They're done. You can see the bell pepper. I put a paper towel down, of course, to catch any grease that may be on them. But I can assure you they are not greasy. That one there just don't want to brown, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish these up. Put them on my plate, and then I'm going to cook these four that's left on a low light because, like, like I said, now that oil is hot. And I may put some of that oil that I took out back in for the last of these. I'm going to pull these on out. This is how easy, simple, and quick salmon croquettes can be. So get in there, folks, and make some salmon croquettes. I want you to see them again. I'm going to finish them up. Okay? Salmon croquettes. I'm going to finish up these croquettes. Um, I'll come back and show them all to you. But that's how easy it is. 
Um, I thank you for joining me tonight. Um, and I hope that you tune in again. Remember to share my videos, like my videos, and subscribe, please. Um, I'm new at this, so I need all the viewers that I can get right now. I appreciate it. You all have a good evening.